So guys, there's this um, error that throws up when you're using carbon sometimes in Laravel. And uh, so I'm going to show you, let me just choose some dates. It happens when you have some dates on your uh, form. So I want to create the error so that I will show you um, the solution to the error while I create the error. So we have uh, exactly this and then and we're good. So I just selected random dates on my form and I'm just going to do uh, this. All right. So let me submit this form and then you will see an error. So here is the error. I've submitted the form and what it's saying is data missing. But when you look at this place, you see that uh, it's it has something to, to do with carbon. Carbon is a package that you install into your Laravel to manage date and time. And sometimes it can be uh, interfering. Like in my case, I did not have I don't have carbon in this controller. And I don't have it in the view but I just have carbon installed in the whole project and uh, it's interfering with the saving of my, my data now um, let me show you what is actually happening before I show you the solution to the error if you look at this place if you look at this place you see that uh, let me just do a DD input you see that the data comes in neatly uh, but uh, let's see if I refresh this page now and submit back to that uh, form you see that the data is coming in neatly and it's carrying my full year, month, and day, and then there's the time there. And the time contains the hour and the minute. You understand? Okay, so if I put this DD here, you see that this is the line that saves the, the data into the database. So I'm putting the DD underneath that line, and you will see that there will be that error again. So you see that error shows up. So Carbon intercepts um, the database before it's being saved to the database and throws the error. And the reason the error is being thrown is that the date time is not complete. You know, it's supposed to be date time. So we're going to add seconds because uh, if you look at what we had initially, we had DD um, input. What we had initially didn't have the seconds. All right, so let me just do that again. We'll refresh we'll look at the time oops and that is gone um, but generally what happened is that there is no second so what I did was um get the input get the field and then add a second to it look at this field is the same with this field but this time I'm concatenating zero zero as a second to it so all the fields that contain dates um, hour and minutes I'm adding seconds to it so this is seconds this is seconds so once you have seconds like this uh, it will work all right so let's try and see the submission or uh, to do this we have to try it again just to prove to you that it now works so here I have um this Oops. of course the page has expired I have to refresh all right I've refreshed and I feel this with dummy dates and time uh, but as you can see there is no second attached but if i click submit now it should go you see it has saved successfully uh, for the fact that we now have seconds attached to it so in case you have that data missing error know that now uh, it's because your date time fields don't contain seconds attached to it so uh, do exactly this manipulation to add seconds to it all right thank you very much i hope this saves you your some time don't forget to subscribe to this channel in case you're not watching this directly from my YouTube channel, go to youtube.com slash c slash printing orgy. And uh, once you get there, uh, subscribe to my channel. All right. Thank you very much. See you guys.